In this video, I'm gonna show you an unconventional one light studio setup that's incredibly simple. And it's gonna take your portraits from this to images like these. My name is Pai. I've been fortunate to create multiple successful companies in the photography space. I'm a photographer, but even more so, I would say I'm an educator and frameworks person. My specialty, making complex subjects easy for you to master, right here on Adorama TV. Hello, my friends. My name is Pai. Welcome to Adorama TV. Let's get straight into this, starting with an introduction to our lovely subject. This is Kiara. You guys know her. We'll link her up. She's no stranger to the channel. But we have Kiara just sitting on a nice little stool right here. And it's a very typical setup where in the background, we have a hand-painted mural or backdrop. This one actually was done by my friend, Jeremy Ellsworth. He does amazing backdrops. They're at a great price. We'll link him up as well so you guys can check out his work. But pretty typical there. Okay, let's grab the camera. I'm gonna show you the setup on this side as well as the light. We're gonna use a little combination to kind of do some befores and get our final shots. But for my camera, I'm using the Canon R5. This is my workhorse camera. I'm using a 7200 lens. Obviously, you guys can use anything you want. For portraits like this, I kind of recommend something that's at least like 70 millimeters, ideally like an 85, 100, or 7200 that has some versatility. All that stuff works great. You can use a 50 millimeter as well, but just a little bit longer so you don't create distortion. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create just a, a before shot purely natural light with just that window and it's not really, well, you know what it is? It's perfect for our before shot because we need our before to look as bad as possible, which is difficult when you have Kiara modeling for you. Okay, so let's go ahead and Kiara is gonna hold this pose. This is gonna be my composition. So when we're thinking of the camp framework, right? What we're thinking of is composition first and this is kind of what I'm aiming at. I'm gonna compose Kiara right here. This is a 1 100th F2.8 and 3200 ISO for just a nice natural light exposure. And you'll notice that basically because she's turned away from the window, her face is completely in shadow. So obviously if we were gonna use window lighting, we'd probably wanna turn her that way, but that's fine. Again, we need a craptastic before shot. What we would typically do is the conventional way that we think of lighting is we would place the light in front. So going over here, what I have is the Westcott FJ400 up on a C stand. Um, and it's just got a large umbrella on it. I love umbrellas. They're incredibly inexpensive for what they can do. Very versatile lighting modifiers, and you can get them in, in very large sizes. They break down easily, set up easily, all that. So what we're gonna do now is turn that on. Didn't plan for this. Upon saying hello, I got Kiara's makeup on my shoulder, or my shirt. Where was I? Oh yeah, the actual lit shot. So typically when we think of a lighting setup, we would place our main kind of in front, maybe 45 degrees off camera angle. And I'm gonna go ahead and power that on. It is at 6.0 for power and we're gonna bring our ISO back down. What I'm gonna do first is just kind of, I like to, you know, for thinking of the camp framework, I like to cut out all the ambient light in my setup. So I'm gonna go to one two hundred of a second F 2.8 ISO 100 take a shot, we're gonna take the same shot just to make sure that we don't have any light bleeding in now. And yeah, it's beautiful, pitch black, can't see anything. Now we'll turn on that light. So now we know that we've kind of cut all the ambient light out. And with that Westcott firing through the umbrella, and by the way, I always say this, but like, look, whatever gear I'm using, you don't have to use the same stuff. You guys take the techniques and use them however you like, okay? So you can apply the exact same techniques regardless of the gear you're using. Okay, so this is kind of the conventional look and setup, and there's nothing wrong with this at all. I just wanna show you something different. So what we're gonna do is actually start pushing the light kind of behind. This is gonna be interesting, because here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take the light source, instead of lighting from the front, we're gonna use this main and push it all the way behind our setup. Make sure when you're doing this, there's nothing in the way. We're gonna to go to right here. And of course, you'll notice that like, well, it's being blocked by the actual backdrop, right? So what we're gonna do is boom it up. Because I'm not booming it out, nobody's gonna walk over here. I'm gonna leave it without the sandbag, but that's just a, you know, don't, don't fault me for that. Should be fine. Okay, so with that place behind, it's gonna create an interesting sort of backlight. And what we're really doing here is we're kind of simulating in the studio, what we might do if we're out in the sun, right? Where we place someone's back to the light. So now I'm gonna go ahead and just so we can see the exact change, 
I'm gonna take the same shot, same ISO, we're at 1 200 of a second, F2.8, ISO 100, so you can just see the light. And we go, okay, that's kind of interesting. We have this rim light that's affecting, you know, everything in the scene. Like we can see like her body is entirely backlit, but obviously she's completely in shadow, right? We're gonna do a couple things. Well, I'm gonna first turn the ISO up. So let's go to ISO 400. And what's gonna start happening is as we turn the ISO up, we're gonna start to see some of the ambient light actually get picked up. So what's happening from that light is that umbrella is kind of putting light throughout the room. And that light is bouncing off the floor and off the walls and off everything in this room and coming back and creating a little bit of fill on the face and that's why it's getting brighter, right? We turn the ISO sensitivity up and we see more of that light that's bouncing back. So that's very much like how we would, you know, shoot outside. The sun's lighting everything, we place our subjects back to the sun and what's filling their face is reflective light. But we need more of it because this isn't enough. But I promise this is a one light setup. So here's what we're gonna do. You're gonna grab a V-flat. It can be a handmade one like this one. It could be whatever you want, V-flat world, V-flat, anything. And we're gonna open this up and I'm gonna place this about right to the left of Kiara where what it's gonna do is catch light from the umbrella and fill into the face. At least if I understand my physics to a basic level. Just, just a basic, basic level. Okay, we're gonna take an exact same shot, same setting, same everything, and let's compare the difference. Boom. Isn't that wild? It's crazy how just the addition of the V-flat right there gave us basically a second light that's now adding light to our subject. And the thing is, is that I could also zoom in and I could shoot like a close-up of just kind of Kiara's face right here. I'm gonna have you hold that because we're gonna do the exact shot but I'm gonna show a, a little shift, a little change here. I don't know what I'm saying, I'm just, words are coming out of my mouth in an in a involuntary word vomit kind of way. And so we're just gonna keep rolling with it. So that's one setup. But the thing is that you'll get a completely different look just by shifting this light right into the middle of the backdrop. So this time, I'm gonna push this right behind the backdrop and right in the center. So now it's firing up and over, and I might bring it just a little bit closer. And I want you to see how it's gonna completely change the look of that rim light. Because that rim, instead of coming from like one angle, like the, the right side of the image, it's actually gonna come from the entire back. And look at that, isn't that wild? And let's do this too, I'm gonna, take the same shot up close too. So bring the hands back up and let me do the close up shot so you can see like kind of what it's doing to the hair. Isn't that crazy? You compare that close up to the other one, right? And notice how the hair is now fully sort of backlit all across it just because of the simple positioning of it. So as we push that light to the right, to the left, we can kind of affect where we're, we're controlling like our rim and our backlighting. And by using the V flat, we get this beautiful fill that looks very soft, it looks very natural. This setup looks like natural light that we brought into the studio. That's it. Simple, unconventional one light setup that basically brings the outdoor natural light look right into the studio. Now I'm gonna take some more pictures because now it's my turn to actually shoot the shots that I wanna have. In the meantime though, we'll link up everything so you guys can find the backdrop, the gear, everything we use for this video, we'll link into the description of the video. On top of that, if you guys enjoy the video, Comment below. Let me know what you guys think. As you know, I get a lot of my ideas for videos from your guys' comments. I read every single one of them. I do my best to reply as well. And of course, if you enjoy my style of education, check out SR Lounge Workshops Premium, where we have A to Z education on everything, wedding, portraiture, all of that. In the meantime, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys back here, same place, same time next week. Peace.